Welcome back to Definite Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of nerds in love that love a good rhymed verse. Yeah. And yeah, so that's why we're doing epic rap battles of history. Uh, this is a franchise we wanted to get back to. We have so many requests for uh, different uh, epic rap battles of history to get to, and uh, that's that's great. And when we first actually released the video, like not too many people were watching. I was like, I was like, oh okay, maybe our subscribers just aren't into this. But now it's like brought more and more people into it, and that's why I love doing like these different. Um, kind of franchises and different different uh, genres like we don't yeah. always stick to games or always stick to movies or always stick to shows but like we love your suggestions and it has really opened our eyes to so much so much more entertainment and 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 fun to be had um so thank you very much and yeah i agree that's why i love doing these yeah we get to share it together we get to share it with you all and so we really appreciate it now one that was brought up that i really wanted to get to next uh is one that's I think Bethany's gonna love um, was Marilyn Monroe versus Cleopatra. Yes. Yeah, she uh, is a big history uh, nerd love geek. Love Cleopatra. Yeah, lo yeah, and she loves Egypt, and so she loves Cleopatra. So she might have a little bit of bias on who's gonna win this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Marilyn Monroe too. I'm not knocking Marilyn. No, 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 no. But uh, yeah, so let's. All right, let's do it. So kiss my clitoris. This ugly hag and cast some G got matching um, noses. You put a <laughs> more than your skirt, miss, please. I'm the queen of the Nile, so just bow down to me. Plus you got so much experience down on your knees. Married a writer, but I don't even think you can read. You'll oh. sleep with any ugly dude who says he likes it hot. Even Joe DiMaggio took a swing in your batter's box. I'm a descendant of the gods, don't anger me trick. You'll lose it better like your bow with up at your wit. I have enough of voice, but you're forgetting the others. With Marlon Brando and the Kennedys, well you fucked your own brothers. You think you're so chic up in your fancy palace getting lower Mark Anthony tossing Caesar salad <laughs> <laughs> for anyone to adore you you might as well be working the door at Sephora I got an ass that won't play you had an ass that got bit on the tail somebody wrap this bitch back up in heart you still <laughs> have no children after your third marriage you lost so many babies we should call you Miss Carrie. you got an hourglass figure but that's about it I came to live the way and I can't act for shit translate this into hieroglyphs your sandy vagina has a seven year age <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was so tough to decide who was, who was best. Uh, all right, let's uh, we're gonna, let's watch it again. Okay, we're gonna watch it again. Okay. There's just a lot to digest. So kiss my clitoris. This ugly hag and cast some G got matching um, noses. You better hold more than your skirt, miss. Oh, I'm the see. queen of the Nile, so just bow down to me. Plus you got so much experience down on your knees. Married a writer, but I don't even think you can read. You'll sleep with any ugly dude who says he likes it hot. Even Joe DiMaggio took a swing in your brother's box. I'm a descendant of the gods, don't anger me trick. You'll lose it better like your belt with my bitch with. All right, so who won that verse between those two, you think? I mean, so she, I think she, when she compared him, I think it was a guy from uh, like that did the Humpty Dance. Um, he had like the, the 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 big nose. I think that's who she was talking about, but I'm not entirely sure. So that's why sometimes not, these go over my head. I was gonna say I might not be cool enough to know that reference. Like I got everything else, but that was the one reference in there that I was just like, I think that was a little bit. Yeah. Who do you think won between that one though? I mean, they both really good, but I think I gotta give it to Cleopatra. I think so too. I think the Barbiturates one at the end is what is, is what got it. I so mean, like. Low blow. There are some really low blows in this. I feel like this is a little bit meaner. Oh yeah, than, than the last one, the, Pennywise and Joker. And like, yeah. how am I saying that Cleopatra and Marilyn Monroe are meaner than Pennywise and the freaking Joker? But like, <laughs> the the zingers in this are zinging. All right. Enough the boys, but you're forgetting the others. Marlon Brando and the Kennedys. Well, you fucked your own brothers. You think you're so chic up in your that. fancy oh. Paris, getting lower Mark Anthony. You wear too much eyeliner for anyone to adore you. You might as well be working the door at Sephora. I got an ass that won't quit. You had an ass that got bit. On the tail. Somebody wrap this bitch back up at heart. You still got no children after your third marriage. You lost so many babies, we should call you Miss Carrie. You got an hourglass figure, but that's about it. I can't live the way and I can't act for shit. Translate. All right. That one. Marilyn. M Marilyn. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that was good. I, I didn't know that Cleopatra had sex with her own brothers. I mean, I'm not surprised, but... Oh, that was pretty standard for the pharaohs. Yeah. In fact, if you look at history, that's kind of standard for any royalty if you go back far, far enough. Yeah. Like, they want to keep bloodlines pure and, you know... Keep all that wealth in the family. And the ass part getting bit and everything. And, you know, she pointed out that, you know, Joe DiMaggio and Marlon Brando, that's pretty good. It's pretty good lit. Or, uh, and the yeah, Kennedys. Mar- the Kennedys that's, my, that's my Matt. Yeah, the Kennedys. Yeah, yeah that, that's a that's not, pretty good lit. Knocking DiMaggio, but no. like Marlon Brando <laughs> and the Kennedys. Come on. Leave this into hieroglyphs. Your sandy vagina has a seven year itch. My best friends are <laughs> diamonds. You can't beat me. Just step up and walk your ass home like an Egyptian. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. So I think I barely yeah. got like an extra one. It didn't seem like it. Because we stopped after each one, after yeah. each had one. It seems like Marilyn got an extra extra line in there, and Cleopatra didn't really get an answer. So if, if we disregard that final bit in the interest of fairness and, and equal representation... It was one and one, so... It was a tie. It was a tie, really. Yeah. Um, if I had to pick one... Jeez. Uh, I'm going with Cleopatra. My bias is coming out. I, I, I see. I was gonna go with Marilyn Monroe. I just felt like she had more swag going on there. And, she had swag. Um, you know, not like Cleopatra didn't, but I think that. So I mean, yeah. So I guess that is a tie. Cause I would have gone with Marilyn Monroe, and you go with Cleopatra. Um, let us know down in the comments who uh, who you enjoyed the most and who you thought won that rap battle. Um, and you know, these are all so old that we're that we're reacting to. But I'm glad that we're getting to them. Me too. And uh, yeah, you know. We have a list going, but if there's other ones that you think we might not have, you definitely think we should check out. I know Thor and Zeus is one that's going to crest a little bit. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's one we're probably going to get you. to next. And uh, just keep in mind that our reaction for Epic Rap Battles of History, Marilyn Monroe versus Cleopatra, is definitely not definitive.